Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. Now, two weeks ago, I challenged you, the community, to go and build a coal-powered steamship that was able to transport coal around the world of Stormworks. Well, fast forward two weeks and a bunch of submissions later, we now have the top 10 most voted for creations to check out in two videos. This video is going to be part one where we'll be having a look at the first five of those creations and we'll follow it by another video later on this week where we'll check out the second half and also announce a winner of the challenge. Now, for those of you that didn't check out the challenge video, the challenge was pretty simple. Build a coal powered steamship to transport the coal around the world of Stormworks. We did have a size limit, so it couldn't be smaller than 60 blocks, it couldn't be bigger than 120 blocks for its length, along with that it had to be completely powered by coal. There couldn't be any diesel engines, no jet engines, no electrical engines, and so on. It's a very, very classic coal powered ship here in game. Now, for voting and for myself, who are actually reviewing these creations, we're going to be reviewing them over a few different criteria. First off, we're going to see how the creation is actually built. We're going to see if it's able to actually load cargo from this really cool add-on here at the North Harbor. Along with that, we're also going to see the capacity of the coal. Uh, hopefully, the more cap capacity it has, the better it's going to get in terms of points. Along with that, we're going to be looking at performance. So how well does it perform in the world in terms of physics? Does it slow the game down? Is there a lot of blocks on it, etc.? And then lastly, we're going to be looking at ease of use. You guys know me with my creations. I usually try to make them as simple and easy to use as possible. Um, so we will be judging on that today. Uh, we don't want a huge starting up procedure. We want it to be relatively quite straightforward and simple to use any of these creations whenever you want to. So that said, let's jump straight into it and get started with the first creation. And starting off with the first creation, we have the Benji. Now this is meant to be a sinkable coal hauler. Uh, looks really nice, very classic design to this one. Kind of like a wooden superstructure there. We've got a big mast here and looks like a coal or exhaust funnel here at the back. Also looks like a little bit of life rafts. Let's have a look at that. Um, so at the front, it looks like we've got a winch system of some sort. Uh, we can move our way through to, which I'm guessing would be our coal storage. Uh, looks like there is also an interior part. So let's jump down there. So it looks like we have a little bit of an interior part. It seems like I'm stuck here a bit. Uh, let's see what this is. So door that goes into this area. And then in here, it looks like a equipment room of some sort. Yeah, so just a little an equipment room in there. Very nice. Uh, let's go and close that door. See if I can get out of here. There we go. Okay, so coal storage. How does that work? Okay, so that just opens and slides, and then we can get the coal in there. So we will be testing that in a few minutes by putting it just over that part there. Okay, interesting. Let's close that off. Uh, looks like we also have an interior over here in the main superstructure. So let's jump up here. Uh, we have a key button, which is... So this looks like refueling for our engines for the coal. Because remember, this is a coal-powered uh, fuel... Not fuel. Water? Liquid? Yeah. And then we also got an electrical connector at the back. Nothing here. So just a door. So we come in here and we've got... Looks like some lights. Let's get this door closed. Uh, light, nothing. Light, nothing. Okay. Heater. Okay, hold on. Systems, lights, engine. Cool. Okay. So now we've got a heater here, which we can turn on and off. We've also got a light and a door. So what does this door go? Little toilet in here. Okay. Now the lights... And then a passageway, which I'm guessing engine room. Yes. Let's try. Okay. So a nice little engine room here. Looks like we've got the firebox over there. We can make our way down. We've got ignite, more or less, air valve. We've also got emergency stream release, or steam release. Uh, we've got a steam valve, emergency pumps, and then sinking ship. Looks like we got a little prop here, which is pretty cool too. So this should hopefully turn maybe once we start moving. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's get the lights off and let's head up from here. I'm gonna go up the ladder, crouch and go through. Go through here. Looks like we got like a little crew resting area. That's pretty cool, I like that. Seems like we are hitting our head against something. Maybe just that block could be removed. Uh, we've got lights for the little kitchen here. Nice, nice detailing, I like it. Uh, we can carry on walking our way through here. Uh, also seem to hit our head again there. That's fine. 
Uh, we can come through here. Looks like a little crew area. Lights, little bed. Seats. Looks like a ladder to go up. Okay, let's get the lights off and let's go up the ladder. Uh, we come to another area which looks like just a small little captain's area of some sort. Just with a desk in it and a heater. Okay, maybe a chair there in the future. That's a little bit compact, I guess, for a chair, a little bit small. Uh, then we have another hatch here, which looks like it goes up to the bridge. Okay, yes. And um, we can close that hatch. And there we go. So now we're in the bridge. Okay, pretty nice. I like it. It uh, looks like we've got little fly, fly bridges too, so you can actually stand on the outside here. With little spotlights, and I'm guessing the same on that side, yes. At the back here, it looks like we've just got some life rafts. Uh, they don't look like they do work. It looks like they're just there for decoration. That's cool. That's perfectly fine. I like it. Uh, now, there's a little bit of starting up procedure on this one. So, I've already looked at the starting up procedure. And I think we have to get all three of these on. So, that means that we can manage those three things. Uh, we've got a heater if we need to. We've also got a seat. Anchor controls if we want to. Uh, on the seat, we've got access to all of this. And starting up procedure, we need to get the breakers on, which we did. We need to turn the keys, which we did. Uh, air valve on. Along with that, we need to hold ignite for four seconds. One, two, three, four. So that should be, yep, five boxes up. Hold ignite, yeah, throttle up. So we're going to throttle up full. And then we can increase the pressure. Now, if I'm correct to increase the pressure, we can just add more water in. We don't need to do anything else. There's also a pressure release valve if we add too much water into the tank. So now we just need to wait for this to get up to about 100 degrees on the boiler. Uh, and then we'll start producing some pressure and we should be good. Now we do have reverse, steam whistle, nav lights and interior lights too. Okay, let's get the nav lights on and maybe the interior lights, which are these ones here. All right, so we're just coming up into position now. So we should be pretty much good here. Let's see if I can just move the boats a little bit closer to dock here, but we're pretty much good, I think. Yeah, that looks about good. One thing I would like to see maybe is this throttle lever here controllable by the helm. Um, just for quicker maneuvering around here. Let's go and open this up. So we're going to open this if I can. Some reason stuck. There we go. Okay. Uh, now we need to get that inside there. So we're going to jump up on here. And let's see if we can do it. Open the funnel. And yeah, look at that. Spot on. It manages to get almost inside there. This, I think the coal is full, by the way. That's why it's not actually being sucked in. Uh, I can actually confirm that for you by just going down and just checking the coal storage, I think. Maybe they filled it. Yeah, it's already full, as you can see. So that's why it's not actually accepting anymore. But it goes down into this, which is fine. And then it obviously falls down into this hole. Now, something that I would have maybe have liked to have seen is that whole thing accepting it uh, instead of just those two hoppers. But it seems like it is okay. Uh, let's just turn this off before we actually end up sinking our boat by putting coal on top of it. But uh, yeah, it did a good job there. We managed to get it. So far, so good. Very good. Uh, let's just try and jump back into our bridge here and then we're going to move our ship along for a bit. Now that coal will despawn, so I'm not really worried about that coal getting in the way too much. As you can see, it's already starting to despawn. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Uh, let's go back up into our bridge. And let's see how well this thing actually does top speed. So in here, we're going to get full throttle up. We have plenty of pressure. And nice. Look at that very easy so far this is fully loaded by the way so hence the reason why it is a little bit heavy and i think also why it's sitting a little bit low in the water that's pretty fast actually how does it turn turning is good i'm guessing we can get the pressure up so let's give some more water to it and you can see how the pressure is getting going up now i guess we can give it some more interesting Okay, so pressure is going up, which means our speed should be going up too. And we're doing about 10 knots. I think, what's the top speed on this? 
So fully loaded 10, 10 knots, the great said. Okay, so we're doing about top speed now. Pressure is going up, but not bad. I like it. But um, yeah, a lovely little creation. Very nice one to start this episode off with. Let's go and have a look at the next creation. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Concord Coal Steamship. Uh, so this one looks pretty cool. It's got a capacity of 4,000 and a top speed of around 14 knots. So just a little bit less coal than the last creation, but a better top speed. Um, it still looks really nice. I like the design. Kind of runs in like almost like a tug design, but very clean and very simple at the same time. Nice. Okay, so it looks like we've got some working anchors in the front, which is always very useful. Uh, we've got some rope storage in here if we need it. Uh, what else? I like the use of these jet pieces. That's really quite nice. Uh, can we actually walk around the outside? Doesn't look like we can walk around the outside. Uh, maybe we were meant to jump up here, up here, and then jump up here to walk around. Okay, uh, let's go into the back. I want to see what's going on here. So at the back of the boat, uh, looks like we've got a staircase to go down. Now, that's fine. The only issue with a staircase like this is that is going to let water straight into that cavern. So I'm slightly concerned about opening that door. Uh, looks like this is where we get our coal so we can unload coal. So what, it just shoots it up and then goes straight back in. Okay, I guess, I guess you can connect something to those to accept coal. So that's perfectly fine and you can obviously then take it and put it inside there i like it's a nice big area so if it does fill in it should we should be able to just simply just let gravity take hold of that okay uh we've got a little staircase so we've got two doors that open up so where do these go okay so this goes into the bridge and we also have a staircase to go down so i would recommend using this way instead of the back because it's underwater i uh, got nav lights heaters steam flow okay uh let's go down Oop. And we've got batteries, circuit breakers. I don't know if any of those do anything. I'm just going to turn them on just in case. Uh, looks like we've got our condensers, boiler, firebox. Okay, nice. Uh, let's try and get this all started up. So we've got air pumps, temperature control valves, light firebox. Okay, that's a light. Wow, that is... That temperature, what? That is very quick. I think the creator must be using a lot of pumps on there to get that temperature up so high so quickly. But I'm worried. Remember, the higher the temperature, the more coal you're going to burn through. So I'm worried this is going to burn through coal so quickly. I could be wrong. I don't know what those things are, but okay. Let's leave it to do its own thing. Wow, we're already producing pressure. Whoa, that is quick. Okay. I do want to check out those cabins, but I'm slightly worried about flooding that area, but I'm sure the crater must have tested it. So let's go and test that area. So if we go in here, please tell me you have a... Doesn't look like... Oh, there's a fluid port there. So I'm hoping that that does start to drain all the water that was in here. Uh, we've got a TV. <laughs> we've got a TV in here. We've got a bathroom. Nice size bathroom too with medical stuff in it if need be. We've got master cabin in here, which has got a drawer with equipment. Very cool. A light, a heater. Okay, so everything you need in here. The only thing is that's a little bit under the water. That's the only thing I would I would not say is the greatest thing, but it's okay. Downstairs. <laughs> now we know why the crates got this here. Stop the water from going down here. Uh, we've got a little kitchen with a light on it. Is that a, that's a monitor looking out. I was about to say, like... Looks really cool. Uh, and we've got another one over here. Okay, so just a downstairs area, which is like a storage of some sort. Okay, let's jump back upstairs uh, and let's go and see. We should be able to move this thing because we are uh, got more than enough pressure. Let's close that. Hopefully, don't flood that. And uh, let's go up here. Up here. Um, hopefully, we don't have too much pressure in our system, but. We'll find out soon enough. So we have got our reverse props, steam flow, anchors, deck lights, nav lights, heaters, and that's pretty much about it. Okay, pretty straightforward actually. Got a horn there. I like the design. Looks cool, doesn't it? Okay, so we're gonna go forward and see if we can actually do this. So steam flow. 
So we're going to slowly come up here. We're going to increase our steam flow a little bit. Start moving along a little bit quicker. And then we can slow ourselves down and hopefully we can just ease ourselves in here just over the funnel here. That looks about right. We can even throw ourselves into reverse in a few seconds if we really need to. But I think we should be almost about fine. We can even get the anchors down if we wanted to. That looks perfect. Great. I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, let's get the steam flow down. Uh, everything else looks like it's good. So we're going to jump out and we're going to go and see if we can drop some coal in here. So I'm going to cheat by just going up here quickly. And we're going to start dropping some coal. And yeah, that looks like it's almost spot on. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so definitely can receive coal. Very cool. Okay, nice. Uh, we're going to stop that before we sink our ship with all the coal that we're dumping on it. Uh, and we're going to see how well and how well this thing actually drives and top speed wise. So full on top speed now. So full throttle. We're going to out of the dock here. Good acceleration on that. Yeah, really well actually. Turning. Turning is nice. Doesn't look like it's obviously about to sink us when we do turning. Yeah, looks really good. Look at that. Spot on. Good job. Another lovely creation. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Great Lakes Steamer. A uh, very cool and interesting looking ship. So you can see, obviously, it's got this front piece, back piece, and it's got this big centerpiece. Now, this is the first one that looks like it's got its own built-in crane. Okay. Hmm. That's going to be interesting to see how that thing works. Uh, so let's jump on. So I'm guessing this is the storage. So we've got winches and then we've got key button. I'm guessing unlock and open. Yes. So this is where we would accept our coal. That would be how we can lock it. Guessing. Yes. And lock. Okay. And then we have another one on the side. Unlock, open. And we can put our coal in there. Okay, so I'm going to leave that open because that's where we're going to get our coal in a few seconds. Uh, we're not going to go that way. Let's go to the back. I want to see what's at the back first. So we've got some more winches. We have a little access hatch in here. It looks like a TV. A staircase that goes up to the back area here, which has got another winch on it. Okay, so tons of winches here, which is obviously very useful for being a dock. So you can tie yourself down. Now we just need the dev to make sure that we have rope anchors at all the docks. I think we do actually, I can't remember. Uh, let's go down here. What else do we have? So we've got a dial with a battery. So battery, I guess. Okay. Uh, we've got some equipment. Any lights? Okay. So lights is here already. We've got boiler ignition. So we should be able to just turn that on. Got our, all other things here. Condensers and things. We can carry on further down. Oh, wow. So you can actually walk from one side to the other side. Hmm. Very good. That's that was quick. Wow. 300 degrees already. That was very quick. So I'm just going to go up quickly. I just want to close the some of these doors I've opened just in case of water. So we're going to go down and close this door, close this door, and we're going to carry on using this passageway. So this one can actually carry four thousand, sorry, eight thousands worth of coal. So this is the biggest amount of coal that we've seen on any of the creations so far. Don't know what the top speed of this one is though. Uh, so that will be an interesting factor also. But looks like we've got tons of beds and things inside here. We've even got a toilet, I'm guessing. Yes, got a toilet there. We've got electrical circuit breakers, I'm guessing for light. We've got what's through here? Another toilet, another bedroom. Another bedroom, another toilet. Okay, well. Another passageway that goes all the way down. We can head ourselves up. And where are we now? Looks like we're in another passageway. So we're on the main deck level now. And we can head up. Another door here for some equipment. And then we're up on the bridge. And we can go outside the bridge. Which we get access to the crane here for offloading. Now, I didn't say offloading was anything part of the challenge. So I'm not really going to focus on this crane too much. But it's nice that it has the feature that you can obviously offload coal, which is really useful, of course. 
Uh, let's go and close that and then we're in the bridge. So it looks like we've got a map screen with a compass, uh, radio systems, boiler ignition, which we've already done. I'm going to just turn it on just in case. And then we've got a whole bunch of things. So rudder, clutch. I wonder if that turns it off. I'm not too sure. Uh, reverse left, reverse right. That's actually quite interesting. Mast lights, which is three. Okay. We've got deck lights, spotlights. So deck lights, four. Okay. Uh, reverse left or right propellers to turn on the spot. Okay. So you can, that's pretty cool. I like the idea of using reverses on different propellers. So you can do turning on the spot. That's very smart. And we can control everything from our seat here. Okay, we're going to go forwards here. Without hitting our mast on this. And we're going to go just through here. Line ourselves up. And stop ourselves. Very good. Okay, and slow down. That looks good. We can even throw it in reverse if we want to, but I think we're... Let's put it in reverse. Let's go back ever so slightly. There we go. Perfect. Really happy with that. Uh, do we have anchor control from here? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, let's go back and let's start loading some coal. There is a little hatch here. What's that little hatch for? Oh, there's a little passageway down here. Okay. I didn't see that earlier on. So another little passageway with some equipment and things. And that brings us into this passageway, which takes us down. And this one takes us onto the main deck. Okay, cool. Nice. And there's another one with some more equipment in there. So we really do have access to pretty much everything. And we can even moor ourselves with that. That's nice. Winch in. And we could do another one over there if we wanted to. Uh, let's go and see if we can drop some coal in here. Let's see how well that handles. Uh, so this one's got 8,000 capacity of coal. It's a lot. That's very good, though. More money. More coal, more money. Uh, let's start dropping some coal. Okay, so I probably need to move the boat a little bit away from from the dock there. But it is going in. Just need to get it a little bit further away. <laughs> well, actually, you know what I could do is I can move this up, can't I? There we go. That's better. Now it's just hitting that and going straight in. Very good. This thing can probably hold so much coal. Wow. I like it. I like the design of it too. Definitely giving me that lake ship kind of vibe to it. Okay, so that works really well. Very impressed so far. Uh, I want to see how well or what kind of top speed we're going to get from this boat. So I'm going to just go down and close all this. So we're going to close this hatch, going to close that hatch. We're going to go up to the bridge and we're going to see what type of speed we can get. First off, I do need to disconnect this rope though. Otherwise, we're not going to go anywhere. And uh, let's go through that door and we're going to go through here and let's see how well we go forwards. So much power. We hit the tire. So much power behind this thing. Wow. Really good though. Really, really good. So turning, and then as the crate says, so if we wanted to try and turn on the spot, we could throw like two in, and you can turn on the spot. Look at that. So one propeller is in reverse, and one propeller is going forwards, and we're now literally turning on. That is super good for coal. For a coal steamship, this is really useful to have that turning on the spot. But yeah, I really like it. It is digging itself into the water when we're turning a little bit there rolling itself but it's okay it's not bad so yeah another lovely little creation very good let's go ahead let's move on to the next one and moving on to the next creation we have the small bulk carrier of the federation model one a very interesting and different design to this one so it's like a big round ship very interesting okay let's let's look at that it's even got a little lifeboat at the back that's pretty cool. Now I wonder if the lifeboat's powered by coal. I don't think so, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try that because it wasn't part of the challenge. Um, but that's pretty cool. So I'm guessing these are 
or coal. And this is how you would go and accept it. It looks like the creators also got some um, cranes on here for actually offloading coal. Oh, that's nice. So similar to like the last creation, had an option for us to offload coal too. And then I'm guessing accept coal. Uh, we've got some winches and things around here. Looks like we've got seawater intake, uh, seawater intake, coal. So is this where coal comes in? I'm guessing you connect this over to this. Then uh, no, I wonder, <laughs> I'm not too sure what that is. Maybe some proprietary kind of design where you have the electrical connectors and things on there. Not too sure. Uh, looks like we've got a hatch to go down somewhere. Before we go down, let's just explore the rest of the deck. Uh, we've got a couple of doors and a way to go up. Okay, another door over there. Cool, so let's go through this first hatch here. Let's go down. Okay, so what is this? This is the refrigerator which has no other doors. So let's go out of this. Okay, so that was a dead end. We'll close that door. Uh, this looks incredible. Wow, look at the interior here. Very interesting. Very different design compared to what we've seen before. Uh, Captain's cabin. So we come in here, we've got a key button which does light maybe? Not too sure what that does. Uh, we've got a seat and we've got a door that goes out and looks like everything's on player sensors if I'm correct for the lights and things. Uh, a very big map screen. Okay, interesting. Ooh, is there waypoints on it? Yeah, it looks like it's got a waypoint system. I'm going to try and go around the side. Yeah, so this is a waypoint, what I'm guessing would be a waypoint or just a map. I'm not too sure. Uh, I didn't see anything to clear these. Can we clear them? No, it's a waypoint system so you can tell, or at least it's a navigation system where you can tell how far something is and what the location is. Interesting. Okay. Uh, looks like we've got some seats. We've got a utility room with some equipment. Another galley. Okay, so kitchen. Cool. Uh, we've got a sink, a outside area, toilet, door to go into a cabin of some sort. Yeah, a cabin with three beds in it. And let's go down to the engine room. So engine room is here, so we can go down either side. It looks like we've got batteries, generators and so on. And then we come down here and wow, that is a lot of steam turbines. Uh, we've got one large firebox, a couple of hoppers, and then, wow, so many steam turbines. This thing must do quite a good speed though. Uh, reverser, toggle button, engine on, off, firebox. Okay, so we need to kind of figure out how this thing whole thing works. Now there are some instructions. Um, apparently we need to flip a switch. Guessing that's it. <laughs> I could be wrong. Um, sounds like everything's turning on. That's getting hot very quickly, actually. Um, let's go up to the bridge. Where is the bridge, though? Somewhere around here. I think we... Do we need to go outside? We might need to go outside. A radio room. I didn't even see that early on. Uh, captain's... How do I get out of here? Capt maybe Captain's cabin, then we go out this door? Yes. Okay, so captain's cabin, and then we can go up the staircase at the back. And what what are these things? Oh, maybe this is for the... Oh, these are the cranes. Hmm. And these are hopper doors. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that's what I saw earlier on. These were the way to accept. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's like a big funnel in there. That looks really cool, though. Goes down and goes down. Uh, you heard a horn go off, which I may be signaling that we've got enough pressure i could be wrong uh let's go in here got a big throttle three screen speaker engine room radio car so cargo so what six thousands worth of cargo and then another six thousand so twelve thousands worth of cargo or 13 plus minus okay interesting parking lights running lights tow lights on off autopilots okay Okay. Oh, nice noise though. Not sure what that does. So apparently that horn went off to tell us that everything was ready to go. So maybe this is throttle here? Yes, it is. 
Whoa! This thing's got a lot of power. Okay. Slow speed. Try and turn it here and then we're gonna go forwards, I guess. Oh, too much power. Way too much power. Yeah, so apparently you need to have some throttle on the on this before the bow thrusters and things to work. Yeah, there we go. So that works a little better now. Okay, let's position ourselves clockwise. Which way does that? So that should be turning us that way. No, other way. Counterclockwise. Yes, that's almost perfect. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to actually get all of this off. And let's turn this off too. And look at that. Almost perfectly. So, I'll, so once I figured that out, that whole system there, that's actually really useful because now we managed to get ourselves perfectly in line. At first I thought this thing had so much power, but now we get the maneuvering stuff done. It actually is really simple and very easy to move it into position there. Like the counterclockwise thing. Uh, cool. So we should be able to just open the funnel and accept some coal. Look at that. Spot on. Good job with that one. Now, in theory, I wonder, I wonder if you could use the crane funnel to funnel into your second one. Or I wonder if they're linked, if those two are linked together. It might be. But um, let's go down inside. Let's just have a quick look and see. Because we do have our readout. So it's filling up our rear and the front isn't getting filled up. Okay. So I think they are linked, to be honest. But you can see them going in. Oh, no, because that's the rear one there, and that's the front one. So there is two different areas. This is the front, and this is the back. So we are only filling up the back currently at the moment. Okay, that's interesting and useful to know for future reference. Uh, let's go and turn that off, and let's go back in the ship, and let's see how well this thing actually drives at full speed. Now, this thing, I think, is meant to have the most amount of power considering the amount of turbines i saw underneath so we just can see how and we saw how well and how fast it went early on um so let's put full throttle wow look at that what that is very quick look at that what an unusual creation but uh, it works and it works well when yeah it just works very interesting. Even got a little life but and I'm not judging on the life but at the back, but interesting. Cool. Another lovely creation. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Cool. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the last one for this first part. Alrighty, and moving on to the next creation, we have the Aquila Aquira. Uh, this is a steampunk coal freighter and very, very interesting looking design to this one. Now we did get a physics warning a few seconds ago, some a little bit worried about that, but I think it's just the shapes and the use of the wedges and things. Um, I think performance hopefully should be all right. Uh, otherwise, we do have to take points off for performance. But otherwise, it looks great. Man, can't believe the designs the creators managed to get here with. Look at that. That is incredible. Wow. Oh, very, very interesting design, man. Okay, let's, um, how do I get on this thing? Let's jump. Okay, so, um, so this would be a crane for the coal, if I'm correct. This is where we would take the coal in. We have some anchors here. Uh, we've got, I'm guessing the bridge. We've got doors to go in on either side and some equipment. And then we can actually see our, so this would be our paddles. I don't think these actually would probably do much because of the moments, because we don't have anything that really works like pistons and things for steam and stomachs at the moment. Uh, Captain's quarters. Okay. So nice looking. I like the color scheme is throughout the creation is consistent and very cool. Um, lights are coming on automatically, which is a nice touch. Also, you don't have to worry about light switches. This is to go out where we came in and then we can come down here. So this brings us into like a passageway where you can see these things which I'm guessing move um, 
hopefully don't actually move the creation because it needs to be steam driven. Uh, we have a little cabin in here with a little toilet in it. Okay. Uh, we can carry on down all through here, which is going to into the galley with some of the lights. And then, yeah, a nice little galley. It's a little sink here, a little seat, a little table. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's close this off and let's go down into the center room. So this is on my right or left now. I'm guessing what the coal storage is. Uh, and you can see it kind of along, runs along the creation. Uh, let's go down here. So we should be in the engine room now. So we've got some access hatches, which go into like coal area, which it looks like. Uh, we also got this area, which has got all of our steam boilers and things inside it. Yeah, so this is the access hatch for repairing and stuff. Uh, looks like the firebox. Where is the firebox in here? Somewhere. I can't even tell. Uh, let's go towards the back. So, so many pumps. Wow. So many pumps on this. Look at all the pumps. Why? Okay, I guess performance. I'm guessing it gives you extra performance. Um, but wow, okay. Very interesting. I guess we don't need to do anything down here. So we're going to head up to the bridge now. And let's see what happens up in the bridge. So bridge is up through here. Or the helm at least. Uh, we've got the helm, chair, nothing else here. Uh, paddle wheel cheat switch on some PCs. The paddle will not spin. This will use pivots to turn the wheels. Okay. So we're not going to use that. Uh, we've got a heater. Horn. Okay. And some equipment in the roof. And then we can literally come here, master start, reverse. Uh, we've got, okay, hold on. So turbine there, we've got knots, generator output, looks like a map screen, nav lights for frontal lights, rear lights, and deck lights. Interesting. Okay, look at that. What? It's an insane design on that. Now uh, there's a big propeller at the back, so that's how we're going to be maneuvering ourselves. You can see it looks like some stabilizer fins on either side too. Uh, now we've got two, which is to deploy the cranes. Okay, so that would be for offloading. What I'm guessing would be offloading, yeah. Okay. Let's close those. Uh, we've got switch crane. What does switch crane do? Not too sure. Uh, and then we've got unload coal. Okay. Interesting. Ah, uh, we can also select the crane. I wonder how you would select it. So it's just up and down. Selected crane, up and down, selected crane. You can just control different cranes, I think. And then we also got throttle up and down. How do I open that front hatch to accept? Oh, there's a key switch over there. Okay. So while we're waiting for all this to... Uh, get going. Actually, what's our, our pressure is actually ready to go. That was quick. Uh, let's go and open this up. And let's get this open here. Cool, so this is where we get coal. Very simple there. Maybe a, a shortcut to do it from up here. Could have been nice. I don't know. Uh, let's go and move forward. So, W. Yep. Wow, that's quick. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> I don't want to go that quickly. Okay, that slowed ourselves down quick enough though. Let's see if I can just get close enough to to here. Uh, almost. That looks fine. That should be all right. Uh, we can lower the coal piece down though. Okay, so we jump out. Let's go into here, and let's go and try and use this to go down. wonder how far we can go down there. Can we extend that? Maybe. No, we can't. Okay, let's try. Just, 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 I need to go a little bit closer. So that is something just to keep, to keep aware of is that it goes, it extrudes further than when you're accepting the coal there. So I'm just going to go into the bridge here and just try and move our creation a little bit closer. We can. Can we put in reverse, maybe? There we go, and let's go forwards now. Oh, not that much. 
There we go. Okay, so it does reach. It does reach there, which is fine. Oh, that much. It definitely does reach, as you guys can see there. So that works. Okay, cool. Getting a little bit of an on our, on our deck. <laughs> let's go. Let's go backwards ever so slightly. There we go. Okay, so that should be going, and I think we're full with coal. Now, I don't know how much this thing actually carries in terms of coal. I wonder if there's a thing it tells us. I don't think there is, to be honest. Okay. It'll be interesting to know how much coal we're carrying in this creation. Uh, we'll go over to the hoppers now and we'll have a look at it. Uh, let's just turn this off. Let's go down over here. Let's see. Okay, so this holds four, five, yeah, 4,500. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. 4,000 is plus, yeah, 4,000 is about the average between all the creations that we've seen, except for the one creation which had tons of power. Uh, we're going to try and get out of here. I'm going to reverse a bit, I think. And then we're going to head out of here. So reverse, reverse off, toggle. Don't want to hit anything. Ah, oh, there we go. What a cool design. Okay, so it looks like the those are turning, but I don't think they're actually moving us at all. It's actually done by the propeller here at the back. So it is still within the rules. Um, Yeah, performance is good also. I was worrying about it slowing down a little bit because we did get a little physics warning. Um, But it seems like it's perfectly fine. So another lovely creation. And guys, that's a nice place to end off the first part of the challenge final. Uh, as I said, we are going to be checking out the next five creations and also announcing a winner in the next video coming out later in this week. Uh, if you have enjoyed any of these creations and you want to check them out, I do leave them linked in the video description. Uh, and if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you want to get notified, click on that little bell icon. Until the next video, we will see you then.